cool ocean breezes, warm white sands. There's nothing better than living near the water. Wow, that's more than a peekaboo. Wow. Dude. This is nice. So you've decided to take the plunge and make your dreams of living near the beach a reality. That is a backyard. It ain't the beach, sir. I want some sand under my toes. And for the exact same budget, you can either live nice and small on the water. Kind of snug in yeah. here. It's small, but it's nice. A little larger, a short walk away. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is what I'm talking about. Or the gorgeous home of your dreams, 15 minutes from the beach and no ocean in sight. Nice pool. This is fantastic out here. They are all in the same price range. All great options. I can really see our family being happy here. Yeah, this is nice. So the real question is, how close can I beach? Not ideal, but the, way, the winds are straight offshore. We should be able to make something out of it. I'm Michelle. And I'm Steve. And currently, we live in Central Florida, and we'd really like to move to Cocoa Beach. Located on the east coast of Florida, about an hour from Orlando, Cocoa Beach is surrounded by bodies of water, with the Atlantic Ocean to the east and Banana River to the west. As a gateway to the Kennedy Space Center, where visitors can see rockets launch into space, Cocoa Beach has earned the nickname the Space Coast. Cocoa Beach is also known as the surf capital of the east coast because of its stellar waves, and it is home to some of the best surfers in the country. With endless activities, it is a great beach city for families who want to stay active on and off the water. <laughs> we were introduced by some mutual friends about seven years ago. You're four years older, you get a four second head start. I have two boys from a previous marriage, Kai, who is 16, and Titan, who is 12. Go! One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000! As a family, we like to spend a lot of time at the beach. Don't quit now! <laughs> <laughs> Surfing together is something that we've done from the beginning. All right, family, shall we? I started surfing at 17, and I just couldn't get enough of it. You're not in charge out there. The only thing you can do out there is just ride whatever the waves give you. It's one of the very few times in life where you're just in the moment. I've lived both near the ocean and not so near the ocean, and it calls me back. It just keeps bringing me back. To get started, Michelle and Steve are meeting local realtor Jen Clements to get a sense of what their budget can get them in the area. So tell me what you guys are looking for. So we are a family of four, and we are on top of each other. You know, the boys are sharing a room, and I have recently gone back into business for myself, and my office is in the kitchen. So we definitely need some more space. We're looking for a, a minimum of three bedrooms, two baths, and an office space. That can be an extra bedroom that we can turn into an office. I don't want a whole lot of maintenance. I don't want to do projects, and uh, we need some yard. Yard or in a green space, that's important. Surfing is really a huge part of our family's life. We just want to be able to grab our surfboard, draw our fishing poles, and just walk to the beach. Have you guys talked about budget at all? Where are you at with the budget? I think our budget's around 355 Okay. I mean, I don't know how much that'll get us in Cocoa Beach. There's some possibilities out there. I have a couple of ideas in mind. I'm going to head back to the office, put them together, um, okay. and see if we can find one that matches. Oh, I'm excited. Sounds great. Yeah, this is a cute neighborhood for sure. It's a little far from the beach. It is farther from the beach than we were hoping. I'm showing Steve and Michelle Countdown Cabana. It's about a 15-minute ride to Cocoa Beach, but it gets them more for their money. It features a great backyard with a pool and a spa, plenty of room for entertaining. It gets Michelle her home office. It gets the boys each their room. I really think it's a great fit for them. Hi, guys. Hi, hey. Jen. How are you doing? Welcome to Countdown Cabana. What do you think? I really like this house from the street. It looks good with the landscaping. It's a little further from the beach than I was hoping for. Yes, we're about a 15-minute drive to Cocoa Beach. OK. But you're going to love Merritt Island. It's surrounded by rivers, uh -huh. great schools, tons of shopping, great hometown feel. The home itself is a four bedroom, two bath. It's just over 1,900 square feet. So what's the price on this one? The home is offered at 350,000. Okay. Why don't you guys take a look? Cool. All right, Go on yeah. inside. Wow, 
Wow, this place is pretty big. A lot of space. Big open ceilings. I like the natural light that we've got going on. I like the floors. Those are interesting. They're dark. They'll hide some dirt in the dog hair. Yeah, this place is much different than the house we have right now. This is our whole living room now. So yeah. this is already more living space than what we're coming from. Let's see what's over there. The other living room. Yeah, this um, room's really large too. I don't know, I kind of, where it's close to the kitchen, this might be a better space for a dining room, maybe. Yeah, I mean, there's not really much space anywhere else for a table. That's one of the things that I think is really important to me is that we have a big space that we can put a big table. I like that you have the pool. You have the pool views everywhere. It really mm -hmm. brightens the house up. What do you think of this kitchen? The place is nice. It looks like things have been redone. The appliances look new and everything's painted. But maybe the cabinets, not so much. These are probably original, you know, seeing as how short they are. I would probably want to put new cabinets in eventually. Well, I do like these countertops. I like how they have sparkles in there. You do They'll like look... some sparkles. I do like some sparkles. So a lot of light in this bathroom. It's a big bathroom. It's a yeah. lot bigger than what we have now. Yeah. I feel like we're at the beach, you know. Underwater, yeah. It's got a lot of potential. Holy purple bedroom. That is a pretty purple room. It would be nice for the kids to have a space of their own. Yeah, it's a big room for one person. I mean, this could even be an office at some point. All right. All right, let's move on. So this is the master. Ooh, this is big. Oh, it's huge. Jetted tub and a stand-up shower. But it definitely could use some work. The good news is there's a second full bathroom. Right now, we're all sharing yeah. one bathroom. I mean, you have all this space and all this potential. This could be a killer bathroom. Wow. This is significantly bigger than what we're coming from. Yes. And that's a great view of the pool. I mean, I know it's not the beach, but that's a, that's a great pool. I'm ready to go put my feet in there. I think we'll be spending a lot of time out here. Wow. Oh, nice pool. This is fantastic out here. It's got a nice screened in enclosure keep the bugs out. I didn't really think that I cared too much about having a pool, but now that we're in a space that has one, I totally see us being very happy here. This is beautiful. Hey, guys. Hey, Jen. Hey. Hi. What do you guys think? I like it a lot. I really like the pool deck and the party areas. It's not the beach, but you can see the water from your bedroom. Plus, the boys get their own rooms. There's a lot more space than what we're coming from. Yeah. It's definitely a contender. How about we take a look at a couple more properties and we'll go from there. Sounds so that's what great. You got. Let's okay. do it. Let's go. Okay. Michelle and Steve are heading towards the coast to check out a home a little closer to downtown Cocoa Beach with a stunning backyard and only a nine minute walk to the ocean. That is a backyard. Michelle and Steve are searching Cocoa Beach for their perfect beach home which may or may not be right on the ocean. Wow, that's more than a peekaboo wow. view. This is nice. Being within walking distance to the beach or a short drive away are also potentially desirable options at their budget. Oh, this is heading in the right direction towards the beach. We're, we're definitely on the right side of town now. I'm showing Steve and Michelle Blast Off Bungalow. It's a four bedroom, two bath with a huge backyard located just minutes from shopping and restaurants, and they're just nine minutes from the best surfing in Cocoa Beach. Hi, guys. Hi, hey, Jen. Jen. How are you? Good. Fantastic. Welcome to Blast Off Bungalow. OK. We are in the heart of Cocoa Beach. We are a short nine-minute walk to Cocoa Beach. Nine okay. minutes? Nine minutes? Nine. This is only like a 1,000 steps. I'd like to be able to step out the back door onto the beach, but this looks Someday. like a big property. Yeah. Right. It is a four bedroom, two bath. You got plenty of room for the boys to have their own room, and you also get your own office, which is nice. great. We're looking yeah. for that. Fun. This property is listed at 350. And with that nine minute walk to the beach, you really are, you know, saving a lot. However, the one bathroom is completely gutted. Ooh. Sounds like a lot of work. That elevates the price, realistically, a little bit. Yeah, it could be a little bit of work. However, it's a great house. You ready to take a look? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Let's take a look Let's inside. Yes, OK. I don't know about these columns. It's like the Parthenon. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice space, a lot of natural light. There's a lot more space than what we have now. 
Although I don't necessarily like that it's immediately cut off from the rest yeah, of the house. Yeah, it's a weird opening. It would make a lot more sense to have this opened up a bit. Looks like those windows have been replaced. Yeah, they look new. Those look mm -hmm. like hurricane impact windows. It's hot outside and the window's nice and cool. Nice. That'll cut down on the energy costs. For sure. Cool brick wall. I think it adds a lot of character. Is this real brick? I think, think it's just a facade. You think so? Sounds hollow. Does it go all the way through? Oh, it does. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is what I'm talking about. You've got the dining room connected to the kitchen. I like that there's room here for a nice big table. It's a nice looking kitchen. Yeah, it's, it's big and open. Yeah. This looks like it's all been redone. And really nice drawers, soft clothes. Imagine how much noise that will prevent with the, the teenagers running in and out of the kitchen. This is the kitchen that I have always envisioned us, you know? Yeah. White cabinets, granite countertops. What's this? This is the unfinished bathroom. And it is unfinished. It is a total project. Everything needs to be done. You're looking at at least 10 grand. Man, is this something that you want to take on? Do you want to do this project? Not really. Well, it is what it is. So this is kind of a small bedroom. What is that, you think, like a queen size bed? Maybe. Okay. This would work for one of the kids, you know? Let's check out what's in here. Yeah. This is a second yep. bedroom. This is big. So if this were to be one of the kids' rooms, then they would be right next to each other, yeah. right across from the bathroom. That would be nice to keep them on the same floor. Yeah, but you yeah. also have a window close to the ground. 16-year-old can escape. We'll solve that problem. I'll plant a whole row of cactus outside that window. See him try and jump over some long cactus needles. We'll put the youngest one in here. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Let's check out what's up these stairs. Okay, so this is the master bath, I guess. Yeah, the cabinets look new in the mirror. Looking at the shower, it looks like they just put some new small tile back there. Yeah, I see a little bit of rust in the tub. All right, well. So this must be the master bedroom. This is big. There's a lot of space here. Was that, that's a king size bed, I'd say? Yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah, now this is nice higher ceilings. Oh, that's a killer view out to the west. That's gorgeous. I could get used to living like this. This could work as a master bedroom. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I do too. You wanna check out the backyard? Yeah, let's go check All it out. All right. Whoa, that is a backyard. Wow. This is fantastic. I like that the porch is the whole length of the house almost, and you've got all this covered space. I could see our family being very happy here. Yeah, it ain't the beach, so I want some sand under my toes. Well, about nine minute walk in that direction, right? It's a long walk. That's not too far, that's not too far. So what did you guys think? I thought it was pretty nice. I was pretty stoked with it. That bathroom looks like it's gonna require a lot of work and money. I'm a little concerned about that. I love the kitchen. That's exactly what I was hoping to find. The backyard, our kids and our dog could be really happy. So is this one a contender? I think so. Yeah, definitely. You ready to take a look at another? Yeah. I think so. Let's do it. All right. After checking out a large home 15 minutes from the beach and a house near downtown a short walk away, a home right on the ocean might just be exactly what Michelle and Steve are waiting for. And that's fantastic. Yeah, that's nice. This is cute. Yeah, this is like right on the ocean. Yeah, there's the beach right there. I'm showing Steve and Michelle Sea of Tranquility. It's a little bit out of their budget, but it really gets them directly on the beach. Steve and Michelle can grab their boards and be on the beach in minutes. Welcome to Sea of Tranquility. What do you think? Not too shabby. Couldn't get any closer. Yeah, I like it. The beach is under my feet. You're gonna be looking at a three bedroom, two bath condo today at 1,700 square feet. Three bedrooms, huh? You think we'll, mm. boys will have to be sharing a room again? They'll be out here on the beach all the time. Mm. It's got a perfect little peekaboo view of the ocean from your balcony. The community itself offers tennis courts and four separate pools. The home is a little bit outside of your budget though. It's offered at 375. Okay. 
How bad do you really want to be on the beach, babe? Is there a bunch of work to be done? No work. It's right, definitely like move-in friendly. It's nice. what you're hoping for. Ready to take a look? Definitely. Yeah, let's, let's take a look. Yeah, let's take a look at it. Oh. This is nice. I didn't expect yeah. this. I like the recessed ceiling and the archway. Yeah, the tile looks nice. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I do too. Oh, what is this? Is this a bedroom? Kind of snug in yeah. here. Do you think that we would use this as a bedroom for one of the boys? Or we could use it as office space, but then that's going to put the kids in one room again. Right. Let's look at the other bedroom. Oh, this room's much bigger. Yeah, this is like twice the size of the other room. It's nice that this room has its own bathroom. That's great for, you know, the teenage boy situation. It's small, but it's nice. It's thoughtfully designed. I like that there's two access points for the bathroom. That's cool. Oh, this is nice. This is cute. Clean, well-maintained. Looks like it's been upgraded. Here's your office in the kitchen. Beach is right there. Mm -hmm. It's nice. I could always bring a laptop to the beach. Oh, wait. No, I can't do that. <laughs> I like this bar up here. That's nice. I like the bar. Mm -hmm. This one's a lot higher yeah, than yeah, most. Yeah. I feel like all the space between the kitchen and the living space is all tied together. Thinking about where we're coming from is comparable. It's comparable, but it's much nicer. I wonder what it would be like when both of the kids and the dog are here. Do you think it'll be kind of hectic and chaotic? There's not too many places to hide, but they do have the beach. You're right, it's the trade-off of being this close. So this must be the master bedroom. Wow, that's big. Yeah, this is a good space. Got access to the deck outside. Yeah, that's great. I love that the master bedroom opens out onto the deck. Two closets. His and hers. Or hers and hers. Mm. Good size closet. You know, looking at a condo, that was something that was a concern, but I feel like this is, you know, significantly more closet than we have now. And this. Wow. This is a really big master. Yeah. I can see myself spending some time in that tub, maybe a glass of wine. Yeah, this is great. Though I feel like this over here is kind of a wasted space. Are you sure? This could be your desk and you could have your keyboard here and you have your, hello. <laughs> oh yeah. I moved from the kitchen to, to the, the bathroom. bathroom yeah. yeah, you're right. I don't know about working in the bathroom, but I can definitely imagine taking a laptop out here. you working outside mm -hmm. as much as possible. Wow, that's more than a peekaboo view. Wow. That's fantastic. I was expecting just like a slice of the ocean. Yeah, that's nice. You know, you've got the pool right there. There's the tennis courts over there. Yeah, tennis courts, plenty of grass for the dog to hang out in. Yeah. Plus the balcony is really nice and big. I can really see our family being happy here. Yeah, this is nice. I like it. Yep, I do too. I mean, we could be the surf report. Our friends could call us to find out what the waves look like. Yeah, you know? that's nice. Yeah. Hello, Michelle and Steve surf report. So what did you guys think? I never thought I would be a condo person, but that's pretty impressive. Yeah, it's right at the beach. The master bedroom was big, the bathroom. Mm. I think there's enough space. What do you think about the view? I could get used to that, so it's a possibility. It's yes, definitely sure. a possibility. Michelle and Steve have seen a large home a 15 minute drive to the ocean, a place in downtown Cocoa Beach just a nine minute walk away, and a beautiful condo just steps from the beach. All three offer the beach lifestyle, but they can only pick one. We saw three great properties. It's gonna be a tough decision. Michelle and Steve want the beach lifestyle full time, but that doesn't necessarily mean living beachfront. Their wish list also includes a space for a home office, at least three bedrooms, and a yard for their dog. With a budget of around $350,000, Cocoa Beach offers many different options for their money. Well, we saw three great properties. So Countdown Cabana, that was Merritt Island. Yep. It's a 15 minute drive from the beach. I mean, compared to what we're coming from, that house has a lot more space. 
We have enough room for both of the kids. And an office, and it has that fabulous pool, but it's not at the beach. Blast off bungalow, nine minute walk from the beach. Yeah. And there's enough rooms for the kids to have their own space. Yeah. We can have our office and our bedroom. However, we have that oh, bathroom, yeah, bathroom under construction. Do we have to put the bill to completely redo that bathroom? So, Sea of Tranquility, oceanfront condo. I know it's still a condo, but it's right there at the beach. Yeah. And there's no maintenance to do. That was definitely the most impressive master suite that we saw. That bathroom was incredible. There's two rooms for the kids to take, but that means that you won't have an office. But I can really see us taking our laptops out onto that deck and working with an ocean view all day while we have some thinking to do. It's going to be a tough decision. We love Cocoa Beach. I couldn't be happier with the place. We chose... Blast Off Bungalow. Bungalow. This is the right fit for our family. We are walking distance with a surfboard under our arm from the beach, which was the goal. <laughs> so how are you guys liking the new house, man? We love the location. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's in perfect place. And it's just nice being so close to the beach. The, the house is very roomy. The kids and the dogs are loving it. There's room for all of the kids. There's room for us to have an office. So are you so relieved to have your own room? Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when I walked in and saw the kitchen and saw all that room, I knew that this was the right fit for us. Sure, we have some work to do in the bathroom. But when those things are done, it's going to be perfect. Oh, yeah. big cheers to y'all. Absolutely. Cheers. It's exactly what we were looking for.